Hey, what's up everybody? Today on Zero Calvin, I'm going to show you how to literally breathe life into your character by giving it a breathing motion. And the good thing about this method is that it's going to sit in its own morph track for the character so that um, you can still apply animations on top of that or do your own keyframe animations and they will be separate, those animations will be separate and will not disturb your breathing animation. So that your breathing animation you can just cut and paste all the way across your whole animation clip or your, you know, your whole scene and the whole time your character will have that breathing motion even while it's being animated. So with that said, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is um, you know, you create your character in, anim in uh, Character Creator. Um, get it all nice and perfect. And then send it, click the Send to iClone button, which will send it over to iClone like this. So, you know, it's cool, like, Realusion by default has the eye, auto eye blink thing here. So, you know, you bring it in, and even when you hit play, automatically it inserts, you know, some pseudo random eye blink motions and that's cool but the character still looks pretty dead because there's no motion whatsoever it's not breathing right so today we're going to rectify that so after you've um, you know exported your character or over to iClone you're going to go back into character creator we need to create a morph target for it now and this is pretty simple. You're going to go to your Morph tab, expand out Body, expand out Chest, and click on General. And you want Chest Front Depth. So you'll notice when I move this slider, oops, when I move this slider, the whole chest area kind of expands out, right? So it's it's the perfect more for us to make it look like some somebody is breathing because it expands this this whole area out. So I think about 30 is good. Um, you know, for a full intake of breath, it looks pretty normal. Um, what you can do, I find with morph targets that it's always better to exaggerate so you can even export it the whole thing at a hundred percent because when you go to animate it you don't have to use that whole hundred percent you can just use 30 but it'll give you the flexibility to go beyond so perhaps for that ex this example we'll, we'll actually do that we'll expand it out all the way to a hundred even though we're not going to use it then what we're going to do is export her out as an eye avatar. So now export eye avatar. Your uh, quality settings here don't really matter because it's not really, we're not really worried about the texture resolution for this. We're just going by the morphs. And, uh, you know, you send this out to wherever you want. So I'm going to name it Phoebe Breathe. as if you can see I've already done this and that'll save it out okay so after we've saved it out we can go back into iClone we're gonna to go to the animation tab and we have this groovy thing called morph animator if we click on it the only stuff we have right now is um, I have adjustments for her hair that came in with the hair. But there's nothing for poor Phoebe. But we're going to fix that. We're going to go to Morph Creator. Okay, so we got Morph Creator here. And you'll notice all my morphs for her hair show up. Um, depending on your hair prop or whatever, you may or may not have 
and he morphs with it. That's fine. So anyway, so she's selected over here. I don't even have her name. She's still CC3 base plus. <laughs> um, you're going to go to File, Import Morph Target. And you're going to select that same eye avatar that we exported, which had that morph, the breathing morph in it. And load it up. So the interesting thing here, okay, so now we have a Phoebe breathe under the body. Now I can start to move this, but she's going to have a, um, you can see her, as her chest expands, she's going, we're going to have, you know, I'm going to be demonetized here for nudity because her chest will expand, but her dress is not. Um, and that's because the dress actually has its own breathing morph. So the dress has its own breathing morph. So we'll actually have to animate both of those at the same time for it to look realistic. Otherwise, uh, you know, we'll have a, a wardrobe malfunction. So anyway, so we've got that morph in there. And we're going to click on Update Morph to iClone. So that just sent those morphs to iClone. Send received the iClone actually sends this whole avatar and everything and the morphs back over and replaces whatever you currently have selected in iClone. Um, it's a little more aggressive, so you probably don't really need to do that. Really, you just have to update the morphs. Either one will work. It's just the mechanism by which it does it is a little different. So now we can start, we can, um, you know, make a breathing morph, uh, breathing animation. So this is pretty easy. Open up our animational jigger here. Oops. Let's click on our avatar. So if you go over to the animation tab and we open up the morph animator we should see all these lovely morphs that we've just created what we want to do is just set a keyframe for Phoebe and her dress at zero um, so all we do really is just move this a little bit and then move it back to zero and we're going to go to her dress, wherever that may be. There it is. And just do the same. So, and all that does is it just creates a keyframe for each of those um, at zero. Now we can go to frame 100, say. We can bump this up to 30. Bump Phoebe up to 30. That's fine. And we'll go to frame 200. Phoebe back to zero. And her dress back to zero. And that is it. So we've created three keyframes. Now you don't really see them on the timeline. You'll have to expand out your character here and collect and uh, select morph. So now you'll see that there, there's a morph track. Notice it's separate from your motion track. So your motion track is where your gesture and your motion layer, so this is where all your animation is going to be. But we have a morph track for her breathing. So it's completely separate, which is very cool. So now what we can do is, you notice if I scrub here she's doing her breathing right but we want that repeated over say the whole length so um that's pretty easy all you do is hold down control and select your three keyframes and then do control c select the last one control v select the last one control v now the unfortunate thing about this is it doesn't create a um like a motion clip that you can just copy and paste 
or a save. So that's kind of unfortunate. But we can just do it this way. So just keep selecting the last one and doing Control V. And quickly enough, you'll fill up your whole your whole um, timeline. All right. So that did it for her. But we actually want to um, click on the dress here and do the same thing for her dress, so that it it also expands and contracts. So con hold down Control. Uh, oops, I almost made a mistake here. Make sure you don't use it because this is the. Um, I want to make sure we just click on Morph and just do the Morph track. Copy the. So now we can go back to the beginning. And we've created our breathing track. So now when we hit play, she not only blinks, but she breathes. How cool is that? So even without any other motion, she seems a little bit more realistic, you know? She's breathing like a normal girl now. So that's it for that. Um, you know, pretty simple, I think. But... It's one of those things that will help you make your animations just that much more realistic. Oh, actually, before we go, I just wanted to um, just demonstrate that, um, you know, she does in fact maintain her breathing while you animate her. So let's just do some animation real quick. So we'll just pop over here. We'll go to say frame 300. Mirror. Let's just actually, we'll go to the shoulder. Rotate the shoulder a tiny bit. Let's go back. Uh, now let's just say over the course of, I don't know, so many keyframes, she's going to put her hands down. Mm, that's it. Okay, fine. Fine, dandy. Okay, so she's still again, breathing, blinking. Now she's moving her hands down, still breathing, still blinking, everything else. So you see that the animation track has not overwritten her breathing. So, very cool, eh? You'll even notice on the timeline, they're two separate things. So your you got your motion layer keyframes and our breathing layer keyframes under morph, two separate things. So that really is it. I'll talk to you guys later. Cheers. This video brought to you by BrianKramerBooks.com. BrianKramerBooks.com for all your humorous science fiction needs.